Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rang Rouge unit of the week. And today we're taking a look at airborne rifles available to the 101st Airborne Division. So after the invasion of Crete in 1941, where German paratroopers, with naval support, managed to capture an entire island without any help from the army, the British and the Americans saw, hey, we should invest some money in paratrooper forces. This could really work out. And so they did. And well, as we all know, the main use that the Americans and British paratroopers were used were during the initial stages of D-Day to land behind enemy lines and well, the rest is Band of Brothers at this point. In-game, AB Rifles are a 35-point infantry squad available in A-Phase for 101st Airborne Division, and they have four sets of weapons. So your weapon loadout consists of two Thompsons, nine Garands, one M1919, and a bazooka, so overall it's a rather healthy loadout. You got a little bit of everything, and also semi-automatic rifles give you much more firepower than the boat action counterparts. Pop down to a miscellaneous set, no armor, because they are just infantry. There's 12 guys in the squad, with good stealth, a speed of 20 km an hour, normal optics, and heavy cargo space. So in battle, AB rifles are, well, they're, they're pretty awesome. They're a lovely infantry unit. And that's really to the fact is they can do everything. They are a jack of all trades. For CQC, you've got Thompsons as well as Garands, which makes you pretty decent. At long range, the M1919 is actually better than a single MG42 out a German infantry squad can get. Against Panzer Grenadiers, you're probably still going to lose in an open range fight. But against Grenadiers, Pioneers, it's going to be a rather even firefight back and forth. And of course, the Bazooka, which, well, it's a Bazooka, you don't really have to explain what the app does. But also you've got 12 guys in the squad, so you're extremely tanky compared to other infantry squads. And it's just very, very well-rounded. You can pretty much throw AB rifles into any situation, and they will prove to be a good choice. Of course, you've got AB engineers that you can get for 101st, which are better for CQC, but the rifles can still hold their own rather well. Now, they're not Fouchagers in terms of they can just murder, kill, death, everything, as they're still a little bit um, unvetted. You can only get 6 vetted and 10 unvetted AB rifles in your deck, which is a pretty healthy is number you gotta realize that you gotta make all 16 rifles last pretty much till the end of the game because by being C phase you're not really gonna get out much in terms of infantry reinforcement so trying to keep them you know, alive so you can use them later on is well vitally important to say the least and overall they're just a really good infantry unit they're not super duper killy murder, you know, 2MG42s German, but just the equipment loadout that they get makes them extremely versatile. And just having them around, you know, to blow up tanks, to suppress guys, to charge buildings is uh, is great. And what makes a 101st Airborne deck such a good deck, especially in more infantry focused maps. And, uh, well, I'm going to leave it off. Yeah, it's been another Rang Rouge unit of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, usual, please just take it easy.